This video is going to show you how to add the Aries wizard to Cody 17. If you've logged into Cody and all of your wizards are not on the add-ons page, um, either your data has gotten cleared or Amazon has pushed an update and has deleted those wizards, um, this is going to show you how to add the Airy wizard back into Cody 17. The first thing I need you to do is scroll over to settings and down to application. Once you have applications highlighted, hit the select button and scroll down to Managed Installed Applications and hit the Select button. Scroll down to Cody and select, and now select Launch Application. In the first video, I showed you how to go to your external storage to look for the zip files. If you went to your external storage and you did not have the zip files, this is going to show you how to add the Aries Wizard. First thing we need to do is we need to scroll up and over to the settings wheel and hit select. You need to scroll over and down to system settings and hit select. Scroll down to add-ons. Now scroll over to the right and scroll down to unknown sources. You need to make sure that this is turned on. So hit select. It's going to ask you. You're going to scroll over and hit yes. And after we have it turned on, you can hit the back arrow button on your remote. Now it's going to bring us back to this page, and we need to go to File Manager and hit Select. What we're going to do now is we are going to add a source. So scroll down to Add Source and hit Select. And when this box pops up, the None field is selected. Go ahead and hit Select, and we need to put in this address. It's HTTP, so scroll over here and down, and we need to put in HTTP colon, forward slash, forward slash, repo, R-E-P-O, period, A-R-E-S. We need to scroll over here to the symbols area, select it. We need this dash mark right underneath the dollar bill. Now go back to the alphabet one down here and select it. And we need project P R O J E C T dot com C O M forward slash magic M A G I C. Now you need to make sure that it's exactly like this. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash repo dot Aries dash project dot com forward slash magic. Once you have that in, then you need to scroll over to the right and select OK. Scroll down, scroll down again, and select OK. Now I need you to hit the back arrow button, hit the back arrow button again, and now we're going to scroll down to add-on and hit select. Scroll up to the picture of the box and hit select. Scroll down to install from zip file and hit select. Scroll down to magic and hit select. Scroll down to repository.aries project and hit select. Now we're waiting for this field to pop up in the right hand, a little box up in the right hand corner. Okay, right up there you see Aries Project add on enabled. Now I need you to scroll up to install from repository and hit select. Scroll down to the Aries Project and hit select. Scroll down to program add ons and hit select. Scroll down to the Aries Wizard and hit select. And now we are going to install the Aries wizard. Down in the right hand corner, the install button is highlighted, so just hit select and it will download the wizard. Now that the wizard is downloaded, you can hit your back arrow button. Hit it once, twice, again, and again. 
and again. We are now all the way back out to the main Cody page. And you can see under Program Add-ons, there's the Aries Wizard. So scroll over to the right and scroll down to Aries Wizard and hit Select. It's going to tell you that you're using an unstable version of Kodi. Just hit select. Okay, we are now inside the Aries Wizard. When the Aries Wizard first opens, as you can see on the top left-hand side, Browns Builds is highlighted. And there's tons of different things you can do with the Aries Wizard. But today, I'm just going to show you how to get a build into Kodi 17. So select Browse, browse Builds, and you can scroll down. These are all different builds, and each one of these probably has an adult one, a kid one. Um, I'm going to show you how to use or how to install the Tomb Raider one. It's got pretty good reviews. A lot of people like it. But if you scroll down to Tom B. Dash Tomb Raider and hit Select, it's now going to bring up the different Tomb Raider builds. Here you have Tom B. Raider. Next one, Tom B. Raider Adult. Tom B. Raider Krypton. Since we are using Cody 17 or Cody Krypton, we need to make sure that we are using a build for Cody 17. If you pick one of these other's builds, it will not work. Um, so we've got Tom B. Raider Krypton, and we've got the Tom B. Raider Krypton Adult. I'm going to choose the Tom B. Raider Krypton. If you want adult channels or the XXX section, scroll down and select the Krypton adult one. So once you have your build that you want to load, you're going to hit select. And now you can see the install button just lit up. So hit select again. And it's going to start to download the Tomb Raider build. Now this can take a couple minutes. Make sure you do not push any buttons on your remote. Um, the little window will disappear for a second and then pop back up. Make sure you don't push anything. It's not done. Um, and if you end up pushing your select button or anything during the process, it will cancel it. So while this is loading, I want to um, go over, I guess, a couple things. Once we have our build loaded inside Kodi and we're finally ready to launch it for the first time, you need to make sure that you stop and give it 10 to 15 minutes to load all of the skins and all of the builds. If you start trying to watch movies or shows before everything is downloaded, you will freeze up the fire stick. So once we get it open and we got it loaded on there, just give it some 15 minutes and let everything download and let everything get loaded on there before you start trying to watch stuff. I will go over um, how to find movies and TV shows. I know I do have another YouTube video that shows you inside Cody No Limits how to find the movies and TV shows. And basically, all of these builds are pretty much the same. Um, if you're looking for a TV show, you've got to go underneath TV shows to look for it. Um, if you go underneath movies and you try to find Big Bang Theory, it's not going to be there. You need to make sure that you're looking under the right category for whatever you're wanting to watch. Um, unlike uh, cable or whatever, there's not necessarily a um, TV guide. You're not just going to scroll through and pick the Hallmark Channel and just start watching what's on Hallmark Channel. Um, if there's something you want to watch on the Hallmark Channel and it is a movie, you would go to movies to look for it. If it is a TV series, you go to TV shows to look for it. Um, and that kind of applies to any station. Um, a lot of people get this and I get emails saying, oh, it's not jailbroke, it's not, um, it's not working, it wants me to pay for everything. You've got to go into the Kodi um, to be able to find the free movies and TV shows with the add-ons that you're downloading onto it right now. But um, Netflix and Hulu, no, those are not free. Um, now, inside Kodi with add-ons, uh, you can find anything that is on Netflix inside there for free, but the actual Netflix app or the actual Hulu app or Sling or whatever is not going to be free. Um, you need to log into if it's a Netflix original TV show that you're wanting to watch, log into TV shows and look for it. Um, so that's basically that's most of the questions that I get. A lot of people are like, okay, I thought all this was going to be free, and it's not. 
uh, anything on the Amazon homepage, it's going to ask you to pay for. Now, if you have an Amazon Prime account, some of that stuff's available to you. Um, but anything that's on that front page, you can find inside Cody um, once you've got your ad on loaded. Okay, the wizard is still loading. You did see just a few seconds ago that the, the, the window popped off the screen for a minute. And a lot of people will start clicking their remote and they'll end up canceling it. So just put it down. Um, the next set of screen that's going to pop up is going to ask us about saving the skin settings. So just lay your remote down and, and let it go until it gets to that point. Because if you do hit the select button, you'll end up canceling the download. Another thing is, is if you load this Tomb Raider build and you, you get into it and you don't like it and you want to try a different build, you can go back out, clear the data, do not uninstall Cody. Just clear the data and you can start over. You can put the wizard back on it and you can pick a different build. Now, if you did get a fire stick from us, there should be a bunch of wizards loaded on the external storage. There should be the Ares wizard, the One Alliance wizard, Wookiee, um, Echo Coder used to be on that, but Echo Coder shut down. So there were several wizards you could load from there. If not, it's very easy to load them, just how I just showed you how to do the Aries wizard. You just have to go add a source. But, um, you know, there's, there's thousands of builds out there to choose from. Uh, these are just, this is one of the top ones. Cody No Limits is one, a very good one, but he's with Echo Coder Co shutting down. He's had trouble, you know, keeping it up right now. But get on and Google it. Um, if you are a sports fan, there's certain builds that are better for sports. Uh, just Google it and see which build you want and what wizard it is on, and then you can load that wizard and find your build. Okay, it looks like it's about getting close to being done. Screen saver's popping up. Oh, here we go. And when my screensaver popped up, I used the navigational ring that's around the select button, and I pushed it down. Just whatever you do, do not hit the select button because it will cancel the load. Now, you can see that window disappeared, but it's not done yet, so do not push anything. Here we go. It's asking us if we want to back up the skin profile. So now, using the navigational ring, scroll over to the left and hit the center select button. And this is going to take a couple minutes for it to load this. And it may look like it's not doing anything, but it is. Just be patient. Do not cancel it. Just let it go. Here it goes. Okay, it says Cody needs to be closed, so we are going to hit OK. It's going to force stop Cody for us. But I want to go ahead and scroll down here to force stop and select that just in case because you do have to make sure that Cody was forced stop before you relaunch it. So now scroll up here to launch application and hit select. And this time when Cody loads, it's going to look completely different. And here you go. This is the Tomb Raider build. If you scroll over, here's TV shows. This is where I would hit select to go look for TV shows. Here's live TV. I will tell you that the live TV um, is not always reliable. It is what it is. It may skip. It may play. It really depends on 
how many streams are available, how many people are on there watching it. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's hit or miss. We do have a internet subscription, um, TV provider. And that's what we use uh, to watch sports and stuff, so it's just a little bit more dependable. Okay, the Tomb Raider Builds Wizard. This little screen pops up. Do not go through there and select anything. Just hit continue. And now you need to scroll over to the right and hit ignore. And as you can see up at the top where it says skin shortcuts, this is where everything's downloading. All the different add-ons and skins are loading on here. And this is why we do not want to start watching anything. Um, to all of that is done. Let everything get loaded on there before you start playing around. Um, I'm going to scroll over here and just show you a couple things. Here's your kids zone. Um, it's going to have different kids movies. You got live sports, sports. Here's where you would go to find movies. Then you would select that, and then there's going to be different options that are going to come up. You can either uh, look through what's what's uh, most popular right now, what people are watching. You can look through what's in the theater. Um, if you scroll all the way down, there's going to be a search option where you can just, if you know the movie you want to watch, you can just type in the title and search for it. So um, I hope this video was help, uh, helpful. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email.